very welcome. I will uh, unbox a lithium battery that I have purchased and uh, I will make some tests on it that you can follow. I will uh, charge it with a uh, standard lead acid battery charger, see if that works. It should work, I think. And I will discharge it in order to see that it contains the amount of energy that is uh, stated. So there will be two tests that I will perform. Uh, let's start with taking the battery up from the box. Here we are. Okay, the first thing I'm curious about is what is the state of charge of the battery? What is uh, the uh, level of charging that it has been delivered at. So uh, I will now measure the voltage to see what we can thirteen point one volt. And if I look in a table here I can see that 13.1 volt corresponds to 20% uh, charge, so it's actually quite discharged. And I would like to start to charge the battery. The charger I would like to use to charge the battery is a standard lead acid battery charger that can give 7 amps. So. If I would like to charge this battery from 20% to 100%, I have to go from 20 amp hours to 100 amp hours, and that is about 80 amp hours. This charge it can give 7 amps, so it will take about 10 hours or 11 hours to, to get all the way to full charge. Uh, we'll see if the battery will accept this charger. Okay, now I have arranged a little setup here with the charger. Its minus uh, connection is directly connected to the battery. The plus connection is going through an amps meter so that we can see uh, how much current is uh, put into the battery. Um, so this will be exciting. Will the battery accept to work with this charger? I connect power. Six amps starts well. So what do I do now? I make a note that uh, we have an inflow of six amps and I make a timestamp here so we can follow how much amp will be charged. So this will now stand and work by itself. Okay, the charging has been completed and I can uh, conclude and uh, make some um, final um, remarks and thoughts. Uh, the battery was on charge for 9 hours and the uh, average uh, charge uh, current was about 6.5 amps. So if we multiply 9 hours with 6.5 we can conclude that we have charged the battery with about 60 amp hours. And that means it must have been at around 40% when we started. It should contain about 100 amp hours and we have supplied 60. So that was okay. Um, another thing to, to uh, notice is that it seemed to be fully okay to work with a standard lead acid charger. This charger uh, will stop um, the charging when it uh, reaches 14 0.4 volts and that caused no problems for this battery. It's below the limit where the battery management system will cut off the inflow of current and it's actually an okay voltage for this type of battery. So it seems to be 
very good match between a lead acid charger for a 12 volt battery and uh, this kind of lithium battery so i cannot guarantee that it will work for everyone but it seems to be an okay match and i know that there are people saying that you cannot use a standard charger for a lithium battery uh, so um, in in opposite to that i i found out that it worked fine uh, the final voltage can be interesting to know. The open circuit voltage now is about 13.6 volts. So that should indicate a full battery and it's uh, in, in line with uh, what I've seen as an indication of full voltage for this type of battery. So everything will fine. Um, now I will discharge the battery to verify that there is 100 amp hours available for this charge but that will be another film so for now i think uh, i stop here uh, thank you i hope you have learned something bye